It is now my pleasure to give out more money. So this is fun. Um, today we have a, an award that we have been having the privilege to give out because of the tremendous generosity of the Moore family. And I'm joined today by Ed Moore, who started this with his family. And I'm going to tell you a little bit more of the background of this. This is actually the fifth year that we've been able to give out at the Ag Tech Innovation Summit, an award that honors those who are entrepreneurs using innovation, technology, and research to come up with new ways to build startup companies. Now, this goes back to the legacy of Edwin Moore, who was a University of Illinois alum. And he had a farm that used many innovative practices to become more successful. Now, his descendants would go on to become scientists themselves and are innovative leaders. Um, if some of you know Jeff Moore, who leads uh, the Beckman Institute here on campus of the Moore family, and some of you may know Ed Moore, who's joining us today, who is one of our entrepreneurs in residence. He had a long career at Baxter Abbott and is a distinguished uh, founder of Biofia, a consulting company working with life sciences companies throughout our region. Um, but it was his idea, along with his family members, that they could pay it forward. And they created this award that we get to give out, as I said, now for the fifth year in a row. And we have an entrepreneurial story that was shared last year at the Ag Tech Summit that we will be recognizing today. So it is my great pleasure to welcome, I'm hoping that we have our recipients with us today, the winner of the Edwin Moore Prize for Agricultural Innovation. And this company award this year is going to go to Epivara. And Epivara is a company that works partially in the livestock industry. And there we are giving a big check away just yesterday to recognize them. I should say it's happening right now, but you might be able to call that out of where you can see each of us. Um, this is their new lab at Enterprise Works. This is a company that has developed a new way to neuter animals. And they're gonna tell you a little bit more about that. Rex Hess is the chief science officer and spoke at last year's Ag Tech Summit, talking about the challenges and well, the lack of animal welfare considered, but also um, how it impacts the livestock industry by the practices that are currently being used. So they've been working with contract, contract research organizations and even doing research right here on campus at our swine facilities to use the breakthroughs that Professor Coe first developed as a, fertile, uh, as a fertility expert. And he is in our College of Vet Med. And I'm gonna let Rex Hess and Jake Coe receive this award, uh, the Moore Prize, and tell you more, a little bit about Epivara and its origins out of the University of Illinois. And then I'll go back to Ed Moore and hear from the Moore family. All right, I'm, I'm Rex Hess and it's a, great honor to accept this award for Epivara. And first of all, I'd like to thank the Moore family for this award that's very generous and, and it honors uh, a lot of hard work and uh, effort. I also would like to thank the Enterprise Works and the Research Park. This is an incredible atmosphere that you've been able to create here close to the university campus. This is the way to get it done. It brings basic science and agriculture together um, and, and uh, business together in a unique way that is just incredible uh, because it takes a lot of hard basic science and technology to make a small company like ours to be able to tackle a, a problem as we're trying to do not only with the uh, pig industry to help as an example we definitely want to try to help uh, solve some problems with the uh, castration that's required for all the male pigs but also for other areas of uh, reproductive biology. So thank you very much for doing that. And uh, um, I think Jay is also available to talk about the, the company some. Jay, tell us about your role, both as a faculty member and as a faculty founder of a startup company here at the University of Illinois. So it was um, about eight years ago when I was teaching uh, in a classroom uh, at West School here. So I have uh, about 130 students in the classroom in average. So me, uh, who has have a background in biomedical research, 
I was talking about biomedical research and the student was asking, Dr. Go, uh, you are in the math. Why don't you do some research on um, our area? So that was a quite uh, good stimulation for me. Uh, so um, <clears throat> I met with a few students and brought a few um, BBA and PhD students to my lab. And then we, we took up and to find the one major problem in, in uh, animal um, agriculture, as well as a vet mat, um, which is a uh, surgical removal of uh, uh, gonad from uh, healthy animals. So let's uh, do something to make it less painful, uh, humane, uh, and easier, and then economically uh, affordable. So we, we, we started to look for targets uh, based upon uh, hardcore science. And that is the start. And it took many years in the lab at the school here at Benmet and uh, developed the prototype product and tested the pr for principle uh, using small animal mothers, mice and rats. And then now uh, we have um, um, some uh, fun funding uh, coming from uh, many different sources. And we are using the uh, fund to test uh, our product in the pigs here at the university farm and also some other species as well. Uh, this is an um, exciting moment. Me as a basic scientist, uh, now reaching to a place where we may be able to have a, a product that impacts industry. So myself and our colleagues and friends and members, uh, we are all excited with this opportunity and uh, collaborating with the university uh, faculty member. I uh, have a collaborators uh, in animal science and the math uh, and material science. We all work together uh, to make a great product to innovate uh, this um, animal castration, uh, infertility inducing uh, renovation uh, together. Uh, let's, let's stop here. Thanks, Dr. Ko. So Dr. Ko is a faculty member in vet med. And as he described, we have expertise here on campus in swine. So I talked about swine facilities before. Those right across from us are one of the, the test animals that is going to be used or has been used to implement this this new process where they can improve the or the neutering process. And I'm back to the check. I think it's really important just to recognize that startups coming out of the university often begin with basic research and then have a long journey to get to the point of hitting commercial markets. They've been working tirelessly at that. So it was great this year to see the lab open. That's thanks to investors that have put money into this company potential commercial partners that are already working with them to see the future for animal health. And we're really grateful for this team and making Champaign-Urbana their home. So with that, we're really happy to award you this prize and recognize your company. I'm gonna go next to Ed Moore representing the Moore family to offer his remarks about the spirit of this award and offer his congratulations as well. Thanks very much, Laura. Yeah, this is, this is indeed an honor to be able to award this prize to Epivara. Um, I have had the privilege of working with Epivara as an EIR recently, and, and uh, I know the fantastic work that they've done and the phenomenal technology that, they've, that they have. Um, and I think, uh, you know, my, my grandfather and my father and uncle, who, who all farmed and used innovative practices throughout their careers, would find this to be um, a very worthy uh, award as well, because, you know, we grew up raising uh, uh, hogs and other animals uh, in confinement and uh, you know so lots of lots of neutering that took place and to have a, a, a process that could be developed that would be um, less traumatic to the animal um, and uh, would be of great benefit not just to the farmer but I think to the efficiencies uh, overall so th this uh, um, the, the awarding of this prize to Epivara, I think, is very, very worthwhile, and I'm so glad to to see that uh, that the award is going to them this year. Um, 
And, and I think that's true of all of the awards in the past. I mean, um, you will, we will so shortly hear in the next session from all of the other, uh, a panel of discussion from the other awardees. Um, and so being able to, and this is where I think my grandfather and father and, and uncle and the whole fam Moore family would be so proud um, of being able to participate in this, being able to um, encourage uh, entrepreneurs to develop new farming practices uh, through innovative entrepreneurial efforts um, that, that can end up benefiting those uh, farmers and agriculture uh, as a whole, I think it is uh, so, such a, a, uh, an honor to be able to participate in that. So um, thanks very much to uh, Enterprise Works. Um, thanks to the uh, University of Illinois. And now thanks to Epivara and as well as other previous award winners for all of their fantastic work um, to, uh, to deserve this kind of an award. So thank you, Laura. Thank you very much. Thank you.